Opinions expressed on this program do not necessarily reflect those of the advertisers, owners, or management of Pacific Telestations, LLC. For comments, opinions, and questions, please email Jess Lujan at jessthebuzz at gmail.com. The Buzz with Jess Lujan. Good evening, Guam. I'm Jess Lujan. Welcome to episode number two, our continued uh, conversation with uh, former chief of staff of um, Senator Angel, the late Angel Younger Santos, and now the current chief of staff for uh, Senator Will Castro. It's Harold Cruz. He's uh, my in studio guest tonight, and uh, thank you, and, and good evening again, Harold. How are you doing, man? Half a day, Jess, and thank you for having me back. Yeah, I well, you, you know, last week we talked about the genesis of your involvement uh, again in, in the early days of, of course, uh, uh, the late Senator Angel yes. uh, Angel Del Grosso Sablon. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Santos. Santos. Uh, you are now the um, the chief of staff for uh, Senator Will Will Castro. Yes, sir. A, a few weeks back, um, we kind of hit hit this uh, a little bit before. Uh, last week's show, uh, in regards to the protests that happened outside the gates of, of Anderson Air Force Base. This was not on, on Air Force property, was it? It was on government of Guam property? No, uh, like, we were always on, on government, 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 government Guam property. Government Guam property, yes. pretty much. Yes, okay. So back uh, then, and, and so take, uh, take us to that time. Now, uh, I understand uh, that you guys weren't the organizers. You, you, this was organized by an, an, another uh, um, Another entity? Right. Yeah, so please. Yes, it, it was organized by a uh, youth group uh, okay. to protect the mm -hmm. And I got a phone call from uh, Ned Pablo, mm -hmm. and I actually met uh, Senator, former Senator Hope Cristobal, mm -hmm. who visited our office uh, mm -hmm. earlier in the week, saying that there's a protest that's going to happen mm -hmm. up at the front gate to Anderson Air Force Base uh, because they plan on starting to starting the construction or the bulldozing of, of, of the uh, Latex uh, okay. uh, the, the fire range, the, fire the proposed range right. fire range. Yes, yeah. sir. Okay. 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 So I, I reached out to some friends and like I said, I was invited. So I asked mm -hmm. my, uh, my partners to, to let's go up there and let's mm -hmm. join them and, and see what it's about. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, so we drove up there that morning and we joined the protest. Mm -hmm. now, 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 let me ask because folks, you know, Critics of the protest will come back and say, hey, well, you know, the detection situation, that, that, that old concept, I know there was protests in the, uh, in the pocket area, right? Yes. When the way the proposal right. was supposed to be a pocket. Now, you know, of course, they, they said, well, um, you, have to, you have to go to another area except for this. And so when they proposed that area there, they, they, they seemed like there wasn't quite the uproar as that they were going through, you know, the, that, that location, right. that location. And they'll come back, uh, of course, and say, you know, I mean, you guys knew it was here, it was gonna be done, it's just, now the protest is gonna happen just before we got the dozer in there. Now, you, you guys knew it was, it was good to be moved, that, how come you didn't start back there and the concerns weren't raised back then? You just waited for the dozer, basically the dozer to get on the ground to be able to do that. So, Well, well Jess, uh, let's just start off with okay. that. The, the federal government has not been completely honest mm -hmm. with the people of Guam in terms of doing a complete, a full assessment of the environmental impact mm -hmm. that will affect the, of the effects of, of, the, of putting a fire range up there. Mm -hmm. uh, a complete environmental impact was not done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, even more, uh, prior to that week, we had went on a boat ride mm -hmm. out to the coast mm -hmm. where the Latakia fire range was uh, supposed to be uh, constructed mm -hmm. or was planned to be constructed. And it was just, the area we went to is a, is a fishing area mm -hmm where fishermen, when the waters are calm, go out there and, and they strike gold. Now, if the fire range was to be set there, then what would happen is that area five miles out and two miles mm -hmm. 
uh, east and west, who will actually be restricted to fishermen. So not only is there going to be an environmental impact on the land itself, but even in the waters because... So, so a major fish, fishing ground? Yes, uh, rounds would be, we're talking about 50 caliber rounds that would be mm. dropping into the ocean. Wow. But even more that... So they're, they're shooting out as, so you're, you're not just shooting in, you're also shooting out. That, that's, the, that's the information that we got. Mm. And so there's going to be an impact in, in, the, in the, the fishing areas, but not only the impact, but like I said, the area there is a gold mine for fishing mm -hmm. when the weather is good. You can't go out there just any day and fish there. It's only certain times. Because the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the, the waters are very rough. Sure, sure. But when you're out there, you cast that rod, that rod and you strike gold. You know, the, sure. So for the range to be there now, you're going to restrict our mm -hmm. fishermen who, who fish to sustain their sure. families, sure, sure. right? Mm -hmm. uh, and and some, maybe some of them do it for a sport, but you now you are not going to displace these fishermen. Yeah. Not only are is there an impact on the Texas itself uh, because there are supposedly some ancient burial grounds there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a lot of lattes, mm -hmm. endangered uh, species. You know? mm -hmm. But we feel that uh, the federal government has not been honest with us mm -hmm. in terms of telling us. What has, has, has been done? You know, as of late as well, okay, in, in, in my reading, uh, Linda Ogden, the Shippo, right? Right. right yeah. Uh, she had said, hey, you, uh, you know, there's cause for a pause. You know, take, take, take. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's cause for a pause here. Now, w one of the things here is, is you know, because you, you, you just said earlier, the, the federal government wasn't, was not quite being honest with us here. Are you, also, are you also saying that they're not quite as honest to the Shippo as well? Or did she have this information and now it just, I mean, so the information that she's getting now, did she receive this information prior? Prior to, again, I think signing off or being part, because she was a decision maker, basically a decision yes. maker, okay? So she, did she get that information prior or did it just now come and just now read in fine print? How, how, did, how did that happen? Because, you know, my, my understanding is that she, she's been, uh, you know, she's been in this, t this table as well. So when did that, when that come about where, hold it, let's take a break. You know, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, mm -hmm. The information that I received is that new information is coming in mm -hmm. on the actual, the tech site. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That there was not a complete environmental mm -hmm. study. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that later on, uh, within the vicinity, mm -hmm. that they are now discovering that they might have been an ancient village there, uh, people that lived there back in, you mm -hmm. know, dating back 4,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I think she, she should be the one to answer that. Okay, but, 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 I, but, but, but I think because in light sure. of, of it was new information that came well, that... Some, 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 of, some, some of what the, the, the military is now saying, this, this, this land has been disturbed in the past have been disturbed in the past and so some of the some of the fragments they say that they're finding whether it's it's uh, whether it's uh, pottery or bone uh, fragments or something like that they, they, that surface stuff they're not digging they, they said this had this 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 area had been had been previously dis disturbed and and so the remnants that are finding are not necessarily burial they have burial from maybe other grounds that were previously disturbed it's but and if that is the mm -hmm. case then who has been the environmental stewards of that land for the past hundred years? So, the, so you're saying the disturbers were who, were all to be the, the military, yeah, okay. correct? Mm -hmm. If we were to take that information, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that this area was previ previously disturbed, mm -hmm. then we go back and the environmental stewards of who the did, land who did the disturbing, right? Yeah, ha unequivocally, it has to be the military, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So that even bothers us even more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who else can go in there has access to that property? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, the families have very, very, if not, no access to the property, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So if it was disturbed, then mm -hmm. who can point the finger at? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? It's Uncle Sam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so, you know, they... They, the federal government perceives themselves or 
to be the best environmental stewards. Mm -hmm. But if you take their history mm -hmm. of, uh, of our island mm -hmm. itself, mm -hmm. NAS, part of the super cleanup, right? Mm -hmm. It still has not been, been mm -hmm. cleaned. Mm -hmm. There's areas throughout Anderson Air Force Base that I visited back in the 90s and early, uh, maybe about 15 years ago, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that have that are contaminated, mm -hmm. barrels of barrels and barrels of tar, mm -hmm. oil that spilled on, on the ground where mm -hmm. you walk through it, you see a dead, uh, a dead bird mm -hmm. or a carcass of, uh, of a wild pig mm -hmm. or a, a deer. No. So the information that they give to the people. Well, well some of the of readings course, that I have with that is some, some of the, the toxicity that's happening within the ground, they said it's better left alone right there because if you were try again, maybe not all aspects, but in some areas that if you were to disturb that now, what you would do is you're going to have to go underneath that, okay, underneath that to, to remove the, the toxic part of soil or ground. But in doing so, now you're going to dig in. Now you're going to force salt water now to come up and infiltrate into the, into the waterlands, which you, you contaminate now the waterlands with, with salt water. You know, I'm, I'm not an expert in that, mm -hmm. but uh, a lay, layman's <coughs> thinking will mm -hmm. say that the longer you leave it there, it's going to seep into our waterlands. It's going to go there anyway, yeah. And yeah. who's going to suffer? Sure. Our sure. future generations mm -hmm. is going to suffer. Our kids mm -hmm. is going to suffer, not you and I. Right, mm -hmm. because over the years, over the decades to come, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. our when, once that water starts seeping into the limestone mm -hmm. and into our water system, then our grandkids and their mm -hmm. kids will be the ones to suffer. So, our job today, mm -hmm. our passion today, is to continue to fight against Goliath and say, "Hey, enough! Enough is enough! Now, stop treating us as second-class citizens." Mm -hmm. There we go. I got to take a quick break here, pay some bills, come back and talk a little more about